<laughs> I'm starting the review with this because I'm a moron. <laughs> I'm doing a review for uh, the Ikago coffee mug and warmer, which by the way is great. Okay, so just wait until you see the review, except that I call it the Ikago. <laughs> it's Ikago. So let's ooh and watch the video. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's I could go. Um, I don't know what to say. Hey guys, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to my channel and another product review. You know that I love doing product review and I love gadgets and I love kitchen gadgets in particular. This one I've already somewhat pre-featured in my happy mail. This is uh, actually the perfect timing for this kind of item because Father's Day is upon us. So for the dads in your life, I present to you the Ikego, Ikego, Ikehu coffee mug. It's not just a coffee mug, it comes with its own warmer and a laser. Why am I talking about this thing as a laser? Yes, it does. Apparently, um, this is the coffee warmer plate of the future. It comes with a mug and a lid. I'm gonna open the whole thing. But the cool feature about this is that it has a temperature control so you can set the temperature um, if you want it very hot or just slightly warm. But it also has like some kind of a laser, we're gonna look at that, that checks the temperature inside the mug. Not the temperature of the plate, but the temperature of the liquid inside the mug. And I think that's pretty neat technology. So let's open the box. I'm going to show you what the features are and then we're gonna try it out. I love that this already comes in a box that you can just wrap and gift. So when you open it, this is what it comes with. So let's pull out the mug first. I mean, look at this packaging. They really want to make sure nothing gets broken during the shipping. So we have a ceramic mug that says, I can ooh, and it's got the uh, nice glaze on the inside and the logo on the other side but it also comes with the lid so if you are a tea drinker like me perfect it's actually a pretty neat mug and that's uh, a good 10 ounce oh look it has the logo at the bottom that's pretty cool okay so that's that and then the warming plate we move this the spoon this is a complete set. It's metal. Nice design. It also has um, the logo and the name on the spoon. And here's the warming plate. So this is what I'm talking about, technology of the future. So you're going to be able to control the temperature right here. And right here on the other side, there's the little laser. <laughs> <laughs> that reads the temperature of the liquid inside the mug. This is so cool. All right, let me pull out the instruction. And that's pretty much everything that comes in the box. So basically, this is how it presents. You get the warming plate with the cable and the mug goes right here on top. And you can use it uh, anywhere you go and you can plug it in. So in particular for me, that would be at the office. Um, this office, not the office at work. This is really neat. I love the way it looks. I mean, look at this design. And the mug is pretty hefty. It's not like a flimsy type mug. Really, really cool. So I just plugged it in and there's a little button right here on the side. I don't know if you can see right here. So I'm gonna turn it on and let's see what happens to the screen. And here we go. And right now it is set at 150 temperature. So let me just put my hand on there and we're gonna see how fast I'm gonna start. Oh, oh wow. It's 
really fast. Uh, right now it's 73. It says right here. Oh, you see that? I removed whatever was on it. Did you see that? I just removed my hand and it stopped working. Let me put my hand back on. Don't do that at home. Okay, here we go. 76. 77. All right, that's a little hot. And it stops. So it stops heating as soon as you remove your mug. That's really cool. Number one precaution, safety information. Do not touch the hot surface. I'm going to make myself a tea. And it's going to be a black tea, which is 205 degrees. Um, I'm going to wait for my water to boil. I'll make the tea and then we'll set it for 150 because I don't like it super, super hot. It just has to be this temperature so you can steep it properly. And then we'll see if it's going to keep it warm. So what's the cool feature about this particular heating plate as opposed to the ones that you get at your regular store like the ones we have upstairs already those you just plug in and they just have a temperature that's set that's it um they may have an on and off button um some of them will sense whether or not the mug is off the plate most don't remember back in the days they were telling us not to use those to melt candles because you just couldn't turn them off and they were fire hazard now what this does is that it will give you three indicators that are with lights. Red means the temperature on the inside of the mug, meaning your liquid, whether coffee or hot chocolate, whatever, tea, is too hot to drink. So when you look at the little screen in the front, you know that your beverage is going to be scalding hot. Green is when the temperature of the liquid is actually appropriate to drink. And then blue is when it is um, too cool to drink because obviously we're drinking hot drinks here. Oh, my tea is done. Be right back. So the default temperature is 150. Let me just put my tea on the plate. And do you see the red? It's telling me it's too hot. It's at 179. So this is really cool. This is actually telling me don't drink your tea right now. You're going to burn yourself. Where have you been my entire life? So there's a laser right here that reads the temperature inside um, the mug. And we're still too hot. We're at 177. Wow. I just don't know how it works. Because I don't see a laser, laser, you know, like a red laser. But this is really cool. So you see, my biggest problem, as we're waiting for 176, um, as we're waiting for this to cool down a little bit and be drinkable, I want to see the green light. I am constantly drinking tea and I'm constantly drinking coffee. Tea more than coffee. And you know that if you've been watching me for a long time, you know. Maybe you want to turn it this way so you guys can see the numbers. Okay. Oops. Not with that. There you go. Um, you know that I'm constantly drinking tea, buying tea, trying new teas, you name it. The problem is that I bring my tea upstairs and very often I'm so busy I forget I even have tea. So by the time I get to take another sip, it's basically too cold and I just abandon it. Um, one of the ideas that I had was to bring a microwave upstairs. I even had my own kettle, you remember, upstairs in the office in order for me to continue to be able to drink hot tea. Um, why have I not thought about getting a warming plate? I don't know. Pea brain. Okay. Bottom line is this is so cool because it's telling me when it's too hot and it's going to be able to reach the temperature that I want. So again, 
I have to figure out now what is the temperature that I like. Some people really like super, super hot liquid. Me, not so much. I don't like to feel a burning sensation. I want to be able to actually savor and taste um, my tea. I don't want to be scalded. So eventually with practice, I'm going to figure out what is the perfect temperature for me. I don't know if it's 160 something or 150. I'm assuming the default of 150 is the one temperature that everybody agrees upon. So we're going to wait for it to go all the way down to 150. And then once it's at 150, I will remove it from the plate. Well, we'll try it to see what 150 feels like. Um, probably just right. And then I'll put it on the countertop and we'll let it cool down for a little bit. And then I'll bring it back to the plate, at which point it should tell me it's too cold. We should have a blue light. And we'll see how long it takes to get back to the green light. I'm trying to think as to who could benefit from something like this. Well, obviously tea drinkers like me, um, anybody who's a student uh, in the dorms and has to crunch for final exams <laughs> would be beneficial. How about somebody who's got like a workshop, you know? If your husband um, or the dad in the house works in the garage a lot and, you know, chops woods, does whatever it is that he does, it's 169 right now. Um, you can have something like that for him and the coffee mug or their whatever it is they're drinking is gonna stay warm. This is really really cool. Um, I'm waiting for it again I'm waiting for it to go down in temperature um, so we can try what the ideal temperature is. Um, the one thing I can tell you is that the mug is not insulated but it is ceramic so what happens with ceramic is that it diffuses the heat so the mug is hot initially when you put your boiling water in it. Um, so, you know, just be careful. Let me bring back my mug. I'm going to put it right on here. And it's going to tell me that it is 152. And I believe you can see the green light. So it's okay to drink my tea right now. Well, we shall see about that. So it is 152. 152 might be a little bit too hot for me. It's not scolding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the temperature to 149. Actually, we're gonna go a little bit lower than that. So you go right here. And you see the temperature change right here? We're going to go at 146, okay? And that's the temperature I want. So we're going to wait. I'm not going to put... You heard the beep? It's set. I'm not going to put the lid back on. We're going to wait for it to go down to 146. Okay, what I did was leave it on the counter for a little bit, which would be like what I regularly do. Forget about my tea. Let's put it back on. And it's telling me 127. It's got the blue mark this time around, and it's telling me that at 128, it's uh, too cool. And I set it at 146. So you can actually set the temperature of your beverage at a one degree accuracy. I really like that about it. And it's starting to go up. Let's try it at 129. What does it taste like? You know what? 129 is the perfect temperature for me. That's what I'm going to set it as. Everybody's going to be different. Let's keep 130. So I'm going down. One, 130. It's going to beep. There you go. It's set. You see? Because I said I want it at 130, because it's at 130, it's giving me a green light. This is awesome. So guys, this is not just... A cool gadget this is a really practical gadget that I can see myself using um, for a long time this is perfect temperature for me 130 ah I can taste my tea I'm not burning 130 is good for me so you're gonna have your own temperature I know mom Love scolding hot. I don't know how she does it, but she needs something that's scolding hot. I can't even put a finger in her drink. It's so hot. But me, 130 is perfect. I can actually hold it comfortably. I'm not burning myself. 
this is perfect at 130. So I set it for 130. So the next time around, when I'm, what's going to happen is so I'm going to make my tea and I'm going to put it on here and it's going to have to wait until it goes down to 130. Um, I don't know how long it will take, probably 10, 15 minutes. And that's okay with me because I want my tea at the perfect temperature. And when I'm at the computer editing, doing whatever, or even when I'm working remote, I can just let my mug on the warmer and it will always be at 130. This is genius, absolute genius. I love it. So here are the cool features that I really like about this. You can change the temperature within one degree. And again, you're gonna have to try different temperature to figure out what is your comfort level. 130 again is perfect for me. You may want 150, you may like 160. Who knows, that's on you. You have to figure it out, what's your temperature. But once you have your temperature level, and, and that's the one that you like, you just set it, you wait for that little beep, and it will stay at that temperature. Second feature that I like about it is the actual mug. The mug is really cool. It's a 12 ounce. It comes with a lid and a really cool um, aluminum spoon. So if you do a cup of noodle, for instance, uh, if you have marshmallows in your hot chocolate, that's perfect. I like the handle. The mug is really cool. I really like it. And I like that it's a satin finish. Um, you know me and pottery and anything ceramic, so yet another mug, but this one's going to be attached permanently to this thing. Um, they're not going to get separated. You can probably put other mugs, okay? You don't have to have to have this mug. You can put any other mug on it. Um, other feature that I really like is the automatic shut off. If you don't put it back on the pad within 15 minutes, it will shut off. And then if you don't do any temperature adjustment within two hours, let's face it, you would have your entire beverage um, finished by then. It will also shut off. So that's important, especially if you get kids. Um, but safety first, don't be an idiot <laughs> like I did. Don't put your fingers on the pad, okay? And also call them by their real name, I could go, not I could. I apologize for that. Um, I like it. So. My great challenge subscribers, you get a 15% discount. The code is down below and I sent you a link for it. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon and uh, yes, it's an affiliate, but it's the perfect gift for Father's Day or for yourself. Um, think about whatever birthday you got coming up. It comes with a really, really neat box. Um, it's all ready to be wrapped and gifted. This particular set comes with the plate warmer, the mug, the lid, the spoon, um, and the box. And that is $59.99, but you guys get a 15% discount. So I give it a five star. This is one of the very few that gets a five star. I think it's awesome. I'm still trying to figure out how the laser works, but clearly it's working and it's still at 130 and it's the perfect temperature it's perfect so thank you for watching this review i hope you consider this as a gift for the dads in your life for the upcoming father's day again links are all down below and that would be it you can follow me on facebook and instagram at my great challenge and my etsy shops french and tabby for vintage finds my great challenge gift for channel merch and if you want to support this channel and my patreon for exclusive content not seen on youtube you can choose to support my patreon at patreon.com slash my great challenge thank you i could go for sending me this mug again i apologize for messing up your name um english is a second language i shouldn't be using that after 30 years but i still am and that would be it. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.